Here's another poisonous plant. White snake root. White snake root is this flower. It is found in many areas of North America and it is toxic to most mammals. It is toxic if ingested by humans or livestock or pets and also if a some livestock ingest this snake root. So for example, if a cow eats this snake root, it's not a good time for the cow. But if the cow is milked before it dies, then anyone who drinks that cow's milk can also get the toxins from the snake root. So you can get poisoned by a cow who ate snake root if you drink their milk, which is fun! So in areas where snake root is found, even if you don't yourself eat it, there's still a risk. So there has to be screening for snake root in pastures and like paddocks and all that to make sure that livestock is not eating it so they don't accidentally poison you when you drink milk. That is not as a common thing anymore because we're now aware of it, but it used to be called milk sickness. It had like its own name because it happened so often before they knew the, what the cause was. Now that we know that the cause is the white snake root, it is much less common, but it still happens, I guess, apparently sometimes. So the chemical that is the toxin in the snake root is called trematol, and it's found in the snake root. I think all parts of the plants are toxic. I uh, Don't quote me on that. I haven't looked it up, but I'm pretty sure just don't eat any of it. Symptoms of trematol toxin or snake root poisoning include stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, so general gross. That can also cause muscle necrosis, so basically your muscle cells die, and that includes your heart muscles, so it's categorized as cardiotoxic. Basically what that means is just as it sounds, it is toxic to your heart. So it can cause heart problems, heart failure, and eventually death due to heart failure and other cardiovascular issues because your heart muscles are dying and so they're not working properly. This is also a much slower acting poison and symptoms can take between days and weeks to develop and unfortunately there's no really cure for this, you just have to let it run its course and if you survive, you survive. There are treatments to like lessen the symptoms but as far as I'm aware there is no actual cure for, uh, there's no like antidote for white snake root poisoning, just if you die, you die. Sucks to suck. Direct poisoning by white snake root in humans is much less common because people aren't really going up and just like chomping on this. However, it is pretty com- look, not pretty common. It used to be pretty common. It is now occasional where the poisoning happens from milk, but since it goes through the animal to the human, it is usually not fatal. It's just like you just have a bad couple days, like pretty severe food poisoning or something like that. It can be fatal, but is unlikely, so in humans, unless you're directly adjusting the plant, you will probably overall be fine. And since direct poisonings from white snake root in humans are not that common, I couldn't find the actual fatal dose, so just don't eat any of it. How about that?